video for a Geneva wheel. All dimensions are in inches. Take a look at sketch one. First, you're, you're just going to draw an 8 inch diameter circle. Finish sketch. And, and that extrusion will be a half inch. So, 8 inch diameter circle, extrude at half inch. Next, you're going to come in here and draw a half inch wide slot. Run it all the way up to the top. If you have any trouble, you may even have to draw another circle up to here. Use your trim. Trim everything off but that piece. Okay, finish sketch. Come in here, let's go circular pattern. So you're going to go circular pattern, choose feature, Let's look, there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, what I would have done, okay, you drew this sketch here. What I would do is finish sketch, tilt it a little bit, go to extrude, cut. Choose that profile right here, and it will cut out that one slot here, okay? Then go to Circular Pattern, choose the feature you just cut out like that. The rotation axis, choose the very top of the circle, like right here. Choose this surface right here. And then type in, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six and hit OK. And it's going to create six cut patterns for you there. Next. Draw a nine inch circle. Come over, draw one half, one and ha what is it, 1.5 inches circle here. Finish sketch, cut this out, and you're going to have this piece removed. Okay? So once you do that, go back to your circular pattern. Your feature is going to be this, so highlight this. Your rotation axis will be the top right here. Click it and also type in 6 and hit OK. You're going to draw a two and a half inch circle. Finish sketch and extrude that up a half inch. Okay, sketch, come back, draw a in here. Two and a half inch. Okay. Two and a half inch circle. 
in the sketch. Extrude that D. Let's go back um, two and a half there. And the one and a half is going to be the hole that you cut out. Okay. Also, with that one and a half inch hole, you want to draw a 0.2 by 0.36 rectangle. Find this location here on the circle, 0.18. Draw this rectangle, and when you cut this circle out, you're going to also cut this out. That'll be your keyway. The only thing left is to fill it. which is a quarter of an inch and you just come in type in a quarter right here and choose that line going around here and you're done with it let's take a look at the IDW since we're in the section view chapter you're gonna draw three views like this the front view the section and the isometric let me give you an idea how to I'm gonna delete this give you an idea how to draw this one and this one make sure you annotate choose center pattern select the center we can just choose one of these circles come over and choose anywhere don't choose the center where it turns green choose anywhere there Like every one of these. Come back to where you started. Click. Come out here. Right click. Left click create. And you would do the same thing for this one. The center of your pattern could be this one also. To get your section view, look under place views. Go to section and just pay attention to what it's asking you to do here. You're going to find the center, hover down, click once here, come back, click twice there, move over, click again, and then just move over to this section. Let's see if we can. create that. I'm going to delete it. Go to the section. Choose the view you want. Find the center, but don't select anything. See how you get the dotted line? Click one time, two times, right click continue and drop that in okay just want to take a look make sure I got all my hidden lines hit okay That's pretty much it. Put your material, chapter, name on that one.